Today we will discuss about uh, the Aruba Instant On, HP Networking Instant On, one new product portfolio. So as you know, uh, in HP Networking Instant On, we have the switches, the indoor access points, the outdoor access points. We also had the mobile application, the desktop uh, model of Wi-Fi access points. Now in the uh, product category, there is new addition by name of Secure Gateway which acts as your firewall through your network which provides you uh, the IDS and IPS provides you the load balancing feature also so this is the new addition to the HP networking instrument or business segment there are two different models one is the basic model SG Secure Gateway SG1004 and the next one is SG2505T which is having a PoE output as well I have the higher model SG2505P with me, we'll unbox it first, we'll get into the details, then definitely we'll do the configuration on the cloud and we will assign the policies, we'll do the load balancing, uh, we'll, we'll get it into every details of it. Uh, let's go for the unboxing. So uh, first have a look into the box, I mean it's it's you know just impressive. Uh, first thing, uh, it's uh, explain you about the model number SG2505P secured gateway, I mean look into it what it's showing it is having the technical specification into it okay the ports and connectivity how many ports are there which ports refer to which connectivity uh, then what are the gateway features you have the firewall feature over it you have the vpn support you have the ids ips you have the application visibility you have the fanless design and what is in the box you will get a gateway application the hardware box uh, the power cable uh, the quick start card and the mounting hardware uh, one more thing, uh, very interesting. As I told, there is a two model of the secured gateway. You have a complete uh, difference between all of them. Let's say you have the first model SG1004, SG2505. So what is there in SG1004, 2505? You will all get all the clarity over here. You don't need any data sheet for that, you know. So the main difference, both will uh, act as uh, application uh, visibility, uh, appliance for you as well as the VPN support it will act as a WAN redundancy WAN redundancy but in SG1004 you don't have the 5 2.5 gigahertz WAN port and you don't have any PoE output over there so if you have any additional uh, very less number of CCTV camera or let's say you have any one or two number of Wi-Fi access point to be installed then 2505 would be a good suitable uh, hardware to be installed at your place you don't need any separate poe switch for your one or two cctv camera or one or two access points so let's unbox it now all right here we go let's open the box okay the first thing as we can see the mounting kit okay uh, this is for your rack mount kit then we are getting the main hardware box along with that we have the power adapter so now the main thing, a uh, very important thing to be uh, for the for the Indian market, usually uh, we will have the back socket for five. I'm not talking about the data center for the small offices or maybe uh, some of the home segment where people are using the firewall. Usually the socket would be of five amps. So the power adapter, the power cable is coming with this box. It's a 15 amps. So please keep a note then uh, while installation we must have to bring a power cable which is of 5 amps now we'll discuss the port features available on this SG2505P uh, how we can utilize these ports uh, before that let's have a look on the front panel we have the LED panel it shows you the status of the connectivity of the ports and here you can see the model number straight on secure gateway SG2505P uh, we'll understand how this name will uh, make easier uh, to design the solution for you. SG means secure gateway. 2.5 means this is the throughput. 2.5 is 2.5 gigahertz. Our throughput of the firewall. 0.5 means it is the number of ports. How many ports the firewall is having? 0.5 means it is having the 5 ports. And P, P stands for the PoE. That means this firewall is giving the PoE output also. So we will look into the ports now. If we go to the back screen, port number five. Port number five is dedicated 2.5 gigahertz WAN port. Port number four, 
is customizable LAN slash WAN port of 2.5 GHz. Then port number 3, it is also a customizable LAN slash WAN port of 1 GHz. And port number 2 and 1, dedicated LAN port of 1 GHz. So we have total 5 ports and out of this port number 1, 2, 3 and 4 gives us PoE output also. It's a class for PoE output up to 64 watt. We can easily connect our uh, as, uh, Wi-Fi access point AP32 or AP25 or any CCTV cameras. Wherever we have a requirement of two cameras or two access points, we can easily manage with this. Okay, now let's say uh, if we want to use port number one as a LAN port, port number two also as a LAN port, port number three also as a LAN port. So in that case, we have left out with two ports for the web. So we can design this way. Uh, we have logged into the HP Instant on Cloud to one of our sites, still we have not added any secure gateway over here. So without the secure gateway, the dashboard looks like this. You have health status, we have the alerts, we have the client, we have the networks, we have device, we have application and the last, the policy module. So we will add the secure gateway and we will look into the new dashboard, how it looks like. If now if we go to the network, we will uh, see only the Wi-Fi network that is available over here. Next thing, we will go to the devices, we will go to the topology. Here we can see there is a switch which is unknown switch. But we have the four access point connected to that POE switch. This is how the topology looks like. Now, once we add the firewall, the SG2505P, we will look back again how this topology looks like. See here we have added the firewall uh, it's coming under the category of gateway okay it shows you all the details the serial number the MAC ID what is the IP address everything it shows now we will look into the dashboard after adding a firewall this gateway how the dashboard looks like we can see in the dashboard now we have a two different segment one is LAN and the other one is WAN previously LAN 1 separately it was not there. There was single module by name of network. Now we have the LAN module separately 
and we have the WAN module separately. In the LAN module, we can see there is a management network. This management network refers to the firewall and the switch. So this management network is used by the insert on cloud to uh, uh, fetch any management data or the cloud data. And the next thing we can see in the LAN, we have the wireless network. The network, it is the Wi-Fi SSID name and the type is wireless. Similarly, if we go to the WAN, uh, then we will see the interfaces. If we go to the WAN, we have connected two WAN port now, two connectivity now, two ISP connectivity. So which is coming as a one and two. We can see the priority here. One is secondary and another one is primary. We can uh, do the load balancing also here or we can make it in a failover mode. So that comes here in the WAN redundancy mode. If you go to the WAN redundancy, we can see the mode. The first one is active slash standby means failover mode. That is by default. And the next one is active by active load balancing. So the first one, we can make any connectivity as a primary connection, which will take care of all the traffics. And the moment the primary gateway fails, at that time only the secondary connection will take care of the traffic. And the second mode is active active load balancing. Both the connectivity, both the ISP line will be active at the same time and they will distribute the traffic load equally among them. We have added the firewall to the network. Uh, the firewall is up. It is managing two ISP connections. It is uh, managing the LAN network also. Now we have to secure our network using this secure gateway. We will use it as a firewall. We will create the policies on it. As of now, there is no policies created, as you can see on the policies module. We'll go for the policies, create policies. In HP Instant on Network, HP we have AI suggested. <laughs> In policy, in creating policies, we are supported by some AI features. AI will suggest us how to create our policies. First thing, we will. Uh, the first thing we can see the recommendation: block network from accessing inappropriate content. We will just click on it. AI is running in backend to create a policy for you. Okay, here it is. The policy, the suggested policy, it will show block inappropriate content the action is block where all the networks from accessing adult content explicit content malicious and risky contents if we good to go we have to go for create policies if i want to make any changes i'll go for the edit option let's say i want my lan network to access all its contents only i want these contents to be restricted from the wireless network I'll click on the wireless network. If I have one more SSID, that also will come into the list. So based on my requirement, I can select which network I want to apply this rule. So as of now, we'll go for all the networks. We want to block this adult contents, explicit contents. Then we will block malicious and risky. And we will adjust the policy. Let's say I want to block Facebook also here. Oh, okay, sorry. Yes. We will have social media here. If we block the social network, Facebook, Instagram, this all comes under the same uh, category. So that's the reason if we select social network, social network will be blocked. We don't want that. So we will block malicious and risky. We will block the explicit content and the adult content. We'll go for adjust the policy. We have to create the policy. So now the policy has been applied on our network. As you can see, success the block and inappropriate content policy has been created and it has been applied to the network also. So now we are safe from the adult content, any kind of explicit content, malicious and risky website and all other some threats. This was a brief glimpse about HP networking instant on secure gateway SG2505P. We have seen the certain features uh, active active uh, rewind redundancy mode and active 
stand by one more and we have seen how to create the policies also this was in short uh, how to secure your network using uh, the HP instant on secure gateway